Rob finds treasure. I thought I told you to stay clear of quarters. You know you can't find silver in your quarter boxes. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure and that's right, I cannot find silver in my quarter boxes but I do have to hunt them because it's getting harder and harder to find different boxes of different denominations to hunt. So I got this lucky score from my bank. It is a circulated box of quarters. I figured why not hunt it? I need to hunt it today because if I don't hunt it today, I won't be able to wrap it back up and take it back to the bank tomorrow so that maybe I can exchange a hand rolled box that I've searched for a brand new either circulated or uncirculated quarter box. Now that being said, we know I am absolutely terrible at finding silver quarters in my quarter boxes in my area. I see stories all the time on my Instagram, on my Facebook, on my YouTube comments of people finding silver quarters, even in as little as one roll purchase from a gas station. Crazy. I even have people finding silver quarters at car washes, vending machines, you name it. I cannot get silver quarters to save my life, and that's why we are desperately hoping to get a silver quarter in this quarter box today. As a reminder, I have only found two silver quarters in my quarter hunts out of 36 quarter boxes for 2020. Absolutely insane that I can't find them. That being said, we're gonna go ahead and move on and hunt this box. You guys know the drill. We'll include you as I find things along the way or we'll fast forward to the end and have no finds. We will be looking for W quarters. We'll be looking for any varieties or errors that we can find and of course any proof coins. That being said, I'll be using my stacking silver mat for good luck this time, not my clad varieties mat. But if you're interested in any of my corner hunting mats, I always have a link to them down below and I'll even share a link to them up here. On top of that, I'll be using my microscope today and I have links to that down below as well. Now that we've said all that and now that we know how bad I am at hunting quarters, let's hunt quarters and see if we can get any finds in this box. We're on roll number 19. I did find a pretty nice 1971 Philly, not a DDR. We've got a handful of Weir Farms and one American Samoa. Those are the 2020 quarters. I just pull them aside so I know if we've got some newer designs in the box. I've got a Homestead quarter, Nebraska Homestead, under the microscope. And we've got a very little bit of snow on the roof. I have yet to find a roof on these 2015 Nebraska Homesteads that have the full snow or the leaky bucket. But... This is a minor variety. I'll pull it aside. Just wanted to bring you in. And almost 19 rolls in, still no silver. We're on roll 28 of the box. Still no silver, but we found another minor variety. This is a 2005 Denver Minnesota State Quarter. There's not as many varieties on the Denver minted quarters as there are on the Philadelphia ones, but I've got a DDR008. You can tell by the picture, that's the doubling on it right there, right on the close-up of the trees on the reverse. And on my example, we've got one. I don't have that one in my collection, so it is nice that we have now acquired one. Again, not a lot of value in it, not even a variety that's typically recognized by PCGS, although it is recognized on Variety Vista. We'll pull it aside, two minor varieties found, still no silver adding up the 2020s. I decided to take a look at PCGS's website because I'm not that familiar with the DDR008 and it is one of the varieties they recognize. It's the FS806. Now, of course, there's no pictures that I can associate with it, but I already know it's a DDR008 and mine's probably Mint State 63, which puts it right around a $25 value. I'll show you the coin. It's not in perfect condition, but it's not in that bad a condition either. Probably between MS60 and 63. They're not as picky on the DDRs like this, especially when the value's that low. I think I'd squeeze that out. Either way, $25 find. I'll take it. Makes me happy. Now, let's get back to the hunt. 
Well, just in case we defy all the odds and we get something in the last roll, number 50 of the box, figured I would do a close hunt with you guys because you never know. Don't see anything silvery. I guess I'll run through these on camera with you and uh, we'll just do a quick run through. I'm not gonna bore you with everything I'm gonna be looking for. There's a Nebraska homestead, just checking it for the leaky bucket or the uh, snow on the roof. It did not have them. We'll check some here now and then I'll check some off camera, but uh, looks like we're gonna be silver skunked once again. That's a Denver minted lull. And there's an AMP, Denver. There is a Kansas State, and wouldn't you know it, Kansas State quarter. It is a uh, In God We Rust. You can barely see the T. Not a good example. Coin's in terrible shape. I won't even be holding on to it in that condition. If it was a fine example, I definitely would. But looks like this is going to be the end of the hunt for us. And uh, nothing in there worth mentioning. Once again, silver skunked. And although we were silver skunked, I did get a couple of nicer quarters to check against my collection. A 1971 Philly and a pretty nice 1980 Philly as well. And we'll see if they're good enough to roll up. I do keep rolls of better than circulated condition quarters. Pretty much AU or better I'll hold on to. We had the minor variety, a little bit of snow on the roof of that 2015 Nebraska, and a FS806 DDR08 Minnesota State Quarter minted in Denver. We'll take it. The usual amount of side finds as far as 2020s, those will go back. I just like to pull them out to get an idea of the box, like I said earlier. And now I've got to take all those quarters and get them rolled up and put into that box so I can get another one. I will go ahead and marry this hunt because once again, we failed to find silver. Of course you failed to find silver. <laughs> I cannot wait to prove him wrong. I'll be back when I've got another box of quarters. Like a glove? All right, I am back. I switched out a box, the one that you just saw me wrap, and one of my banks says I can go ahead and have this since they had some extra quarter boxes because they've got customers bringing in quarters, and they said, Rob, no need to wrap this one. You can actually just take it, but I think I'm probably going to end up wrapping them both so I can switch them out at other banks maybe that I can't get rolls from. Either way, we've got 100 rolls to hunt on top of the first 50 we've already done. I've already cracked the top of this one. It's definitely circulated. We've only checked for enders on top. I didn't see any. And then this is the kind of box with the holes in the bottom, my 3365 boxes. So we will definitely be able to hunt it because it is circulated quarters as well. We're not going to keep talking any longer. You guys know what we're looking for. Got my clad coinage varieties mat out this time since I'm kind of struggling on silver. And we can go ahead and check for any goodies as far as varieties. I'm gonna fix this box before I hunt it, but I'll be back if we find something good. Roll 20 and we're gonna have a find. It's actually gonna be a proof. Estimated proof, Maryland State Quarter 2000. Not in the best condition, but a proof nonetheless. I did sleeve up that FS806 2005 D DDR Minnesota Extra Tree Quarter. And I do have something I'll show you at the end of the video. I'm curious about this one and your guys' thoughts, but we'll get to that at the end. Let's get back to the hunt and see if we can find other goodies. Roll 44 and we still don't have silver, but we finally got to find a W quarter from River of No Return. Unbelievable, 2019 W, we got one. So now we have a proof and a W in this box and something we'll cover soon. First 50 rolls hunted, and you know what, it wasn't a bad box. We did get that proof, and we did get the W. I'll take it. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this coin. This is a 2015 Nebraska State Quarter, and I always check it for the leaky bucket or the snow on the roof. 
And I know that this year has a lot of machine doubling on the coin. And I've shown these in other videos and I've pretty much just kept a couple of fine examples, but discarded the rest. But this one is odd. Let me show it to you under the scope. So there's always this kind of machine doubling going on on these quarters, especially near the rim. And I'm not concerned with that. But what caught my eye on this one is right here. That to me looks like there's another H that is counterclockwise about 11 o'clock from where the H should be. And I know that there's machine doubling on this as well, but that's not caused by machine doubling in my opinion. That looks like possible doubled die. You guys let me know what you think. I'm gonna hold on to this quarter because that is odd to me. And I would love to get some of your opinions out there. Let me know. To me, that exhibits double die. But then again, I've been staring at a lot of quarters lately and I could be wrong. And like I said, I have checked hundreds of these quarters for the leaky bucket, snow on the roof, you name it. And I always take a look at this part of the rim because there's always some great machine doubling. It just seems like it's heavy on these all the time. But I have never seen part of the H to the left, not like that. Anyway, curious to hear your thoughts. Silver skunked again, but we do have a variety of proof, a W and an oddity. All we need is some silver. Let me clear up the 2020s. I always pull them aside for fun. And let's do a live opening on this box next. All right, third box of the hunt, last chance to get some silver because the video is starting to get long. So we need some silver in this box. We got an awesome toner there, but nothing screaming silver on the tops. And by the holes in the bottom, I didn't see silver either. But we got lots of coins to look at inside the rolls. So let's get that started and I'll bring you in if I have a first find. Roll 40 of the box or 140 of the hunt and we finally got another find it's another w and this one from lowell so that's two w's a proof a variety and a couple of oddities but yet no silver still well that's all she wrote for that box and for sake of time we're gonna stop hunting quarters for this video we've already got probably a 10 or 12 minute video and i don't want to keep you guys forever for my skunk boxes that being said, skunked on silver, but we did find a variety there, a possible variety here, a beautiful, not the DDO Bicentennial Quarter, which I'll add to my collection. It's a stunner. We did find a proof, and I haven't found a lot of those lately, and two W quarters, a River of No Return and a Lowell. And I'll tell you, this box was full of AMPs and War in the Pacifics, and I thought for sure I'd find a W in there, but we didn't, we got a lull. Hopefully you enjoyed this hunt, despite being silver skunked. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting, and thanks for watching. Ha 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 